Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at a navigation chart and specifically a Mercator projection and we're going to look at the latitude scale and the longitude scale. As you can see I'm in the lower right hand corner of this chart and going up the chart is the latitude and again going back to the corner and going across at the bottom of the chart is the longitude and the first thing I want to notice here on the latitude scale is I see a 36 degrees 50 minutes. Let's zoom in on that for a quick second. There we go. You can see right here, 36 degrees 50 minutes. And we would write that as latitude 36 degrees and 50.0 minutes. Now the next thing we want to take a look at is the next printed minutes number and right here I see this is 55 minutes so this would be latitude 36 degrees 55.0 minutes now as I can see as I'm going up the chart the numbers are increasing. They went from 50 to 55, so they're increasing. So that means I, as I go up the chart, I'm increasing in latitude. That must mean that I'm in the northern hemisphere. So we go ahead and label that north. On the longitude scale, we can see right here. Let's zoom that down a little bit. is 75 degrees 30 minutes so we would write that longitude 075 degrees 30 minutes next printed one we see is 35 so we would write that longitude 075 degrees 35 minutes and we can see as we go to the left, I'm going from 30 to 35 as I go that direction. So I must be in the Western Hemisphere. So we would label those West. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and take some readings and break down the scales for both latitude and longitude. Well, let's start with the latitude first. I'm going to zoom into the 3650. And you can see there's a group right here. This one segment represents one minute of latitude. So this would actually be 51. And then there's the next big segment, which has the black line through it. And again, that just helps us delineate the minutes. So this right here would be 52 minutes. Then the next group is open, and that represents one minute. So that would be 53 minutes. The next group is closed. That represents 54 minutes. And as you can see, we got up to our, third, our 55. Okay. So, let's do the same for longitude. Here's 30, 75, 30. Here's our first group here. So that's 31. Our second group, 32. Our third group, 33. Our fourth group, 34. And we can see here's our 35. Go ahead and put the little tick mark indicating minutes. Okay. 
Okay, now we need to divide those minutes down to tenths of minutes. Again, let's start with the latitude scale. You can see between the 50 and the 51, this segment is divided up into 10 little boxes. Uh, and it also has a long half mark at the 5, or the 0.5. So we could say this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, or half, 0 0.6, 7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then up to 1, which gets us to the 51. So let's pick a, a random one in between, and let's just pick right here for sake of discussion. Okay, what is this latitude right here? Okay, so I know it's latitude, 36 degrees. I get that from here. Then I count my minutes, 51, 52, it's not quite 52, so we know it's 51 something, and then I count my small boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the long hack, and then 6, so that's 51.6 minutes north, and I label it as such. Okay, let's take an arbitrary one on the longitude scale. And I'm going to pick one right here. So I would call that longitude 075 degrees 31, 32, 33. It doesn't quite get to 33, so it's 32 minutes. And now how many tenths of a minute? 1, 2, Three. So 0 0.3 minutes west longitude. Now the other interesting thing that we have to do on a Mercator chart is when it comes to measuring distances. And distances we can measure using the latitude scale. Because one minute of latitude equals one nautical mile. So this minute right here between the 50 and the 51 right here represents one nautical mile this represents one nautical mile this represents one nautical mile this does or I could do something like this I could put my dividers here and go all the way up to the 55 so I'm going from 50 to 55 and say that represents five nautical miles. And we're going to use the latitude scale and only the latitude scale to measure distances. So let's try that. You can see on the chart here there's two wrecks. There's one here and there's one here. And I'm going to measure the distance between the two of those. I'm just going to take the center of each wreck plotted position. I go over to my latitude scale, start at 50 just to make it easy for me, and I go up to 44, 54, and it's just a little bit past 54, and it looks like I'm going to I just make a little tick mark, and that's the distance. So it's one mile, two miles, three miles, four miles, and then two tenths more. So this distance, distance equals 4.2 nautical miles. And we're going to use the latitude scale to measure distances. Let's try one more. Let's try one more. Let's take the distance from this buoy to this wreck right here. So I place one end on the buoy. I adjust my compass to where the other one, the other point is right at the wreck site. I take that distance over to my latitude scale. And this one is just a little bit below our previous measurement. So it's one mile, two miles, three miles, four miles.
miles, and in this case it's 4.1 right here. Go ahead and try measuring those distances.